The ease of COVID-19 restrictions comes just in time for March Madness. We're at Vaughn's Public House in Hartford, where they're ready for more business this Friday. March Madness is usually huge for us. Vaughn's public house owner Johnny Vaughn says the traditional Irish pub open for 17 years also has a sports crowd for soccer games and basketball tournaments. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're having March Madness. Aren't you happy about that? I am. I was, uh, I really missed it. With the UConn and University of Hartford basketball teams playing in the NCAA basketball tournaments this weekend, excitement is building. This is great. This is the beginning of something really special. Um, University of Connecticut men, uh, let, they deserve to be back there. They always should be back there. They're one of our champion teams, and uh, I'm really happy to see them back. And uh, the women are going to soar. Everybody tunes in for March Madness. Uh, to be a part of it, I think, is unbelievable for our coaches and student athletes, our athletic department, and our university. It brings so much positive attention. It would have been so nice this year with University of Hartford in it, too, because uh, pretty familiar with those guys and um, I know the coach and they've been in here a few times and they have a lot of alumni around here so uh, and it's kind of nice to see the underdog there. This Friday capacity limits on restaurants, retail and gyms will be lifted but social distancing and the mask mandate will still be enforced. We are going to maintain the mask and the spacing requirements. What that means in terms of restaurants, non-theater, we're keeping that in place, eight people to a table so it doesn't become a big party, and, uh, and we're going to maintain the 11 p.m. curfew. Starting April 2nd, amusement parks can open, outdoor event venues can increase capacity to 50 percent, and indoor stadiums can open at 10 percent capacity. Live in Hartford, Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News.